million dollars in criminal fines. Again and again, we have the problem that whether you obey the law or not is a matter whether it's cost effective. If the chance of getting caught and the penalty are less than it costs to comply, uh, people think of it as being just a business decision. I'm drawing the metaphor of the early attempts to fly. The man going off of a very high cliff in his airplane with the wings flapping and the guys flapping the wings and the wind is in his face and this poor fool thinks he's flying but in fact he's in free fall and he just doesn't know it yet because the ground is so far away but of course the craft is doomed to crash that's the way our civilization is the very high cliff represents the virtually unlimited resources we seem to have when we began this journey. The craft isn't flying because it's not built according to the laws of aerodynamics, and it's subject to the law of gravity. Our civilization is not flying because it's not built according to the laws of aerodynamics for civilizations that would fly. And of course, the ground is still a long way away, but some people have seen that ground rushing up sooner than the rest of us have. The visionaries have seen it and have told us it's coming. There's not a single scientific peer-reviewed paper published in the last 25 years that would contradict this scenario. Every living system of Earth is in decline. Every life support system of Earth is in decline. And these together constitute the biosphere, the biosphere that supports and nurtures all of life, and not just our life, but perhaps 30 million other species that share this planet with us. The typical company of the 20th century, extractive, wasteful, abusive, linear in all of its processes, taking from the earth, making, wasting, sending its products back to the biosphere, waste to a landfill. I myself was amazed to learn just how much stuff the Earth has to produce through our extraction process to produce a dollar of revenue for our company. When I learned, I was flabbergasted. We're leaving a terrible legacy of poison and diminishment of the environment for our grandchildren's grandchildren, generations not yet born. Some people have called that intergenerational tyranny, a form of taxation without representation levied by us on generations yet to be. It's the wrong thing to do.